It's now time for the Rebirth Sports full game recap. We go all the way back to May 3rd of the year 2023 when the Milwaukee Admirals were hosting the Manitoba Moose in Game 3 of their Best of 5 series in the Calder Cup Playoffs Round 2. Carl Taylor would deploy his forwards in no particular order. Here's the grouping. Sherwood, Sanford, and Evangelista. Schneider, Jankowski, and Tomasino. Ratcliffe, Huntington, and Leonard. Afrinasev, Angelo, and Kemmel make up your forward grouping. Your defensive grouping is Delgazo and McEwen, Gravel and Stastny, Gross and Willsby, and in net is Yaroslav Askarov. We are 2.33 into the first period. Now a best of three series with the teams being tied at one apiece. And the 2.23 mark of the first period is going to be Angelo and Jones each off the box. Two minutes for roughing. That would lead to a four-on-four -four scenario early on in the game. And on the first shot of the game, it would be a breakaway. Askarov comes way out of the net, makes a mistake, and it's an easy tuck-in for Limoges after the offensive say if turnover out there in the neutral zone everything that could possibly go wrong for the Milwaukee Admirals on this play did in fact go wrong it's the Manitoba Moose securing a 1-0 victory in this pivotal game three we are 4-17 into the first period and Salmonen comes up with a save on Jankowski it's the first shot on goal for the Milwaukee Admirals at 4:53 of the first period Angelos off to the box for the second time already in this period two minutes for hooking as Karoff comes up with three total saves in the shorthanded scenario at 8:33 at the first period Chisholm would be off to the box two minutes for tripping giving Milwaukee their first opportunity on the power play it would be Salmon coming in with a save on Tomasino and Salmon and then coming up with a save on Kemmel. Lots of good pressure. Numerous shot attempts and shots on net during this power play. Admirals look very strong over this two minutes but could not convert. 10.24 of the first period. Salmon comes up with a save on Jankowski. 11.53. Hainola is off to the box. Two minutes for boarding. Admirals looking to bring that best power play in the AHL back out of the ice. But unfortunately, it's sloppy, choppy, and ugly. And you can add whatever other nasty descriptors you want to it because the Admirals didn't generate a single shot on goal over the course of this power play. And seriously, they had trouble getting out of their own zone. They had trouble getting the puck into the offensive zone. They had trouble all over the ice for a solid two minutes. We go to the 16.06 mark of the first period and that's when Luke Evangelista is getting the Milwaukee Admirals on the board tying the game up at one apiece his second goal of the playoffs it was a perfect deflection in the low slot of Sherwood's long shot just great hand-eye coordination right here by Luke Evangelista ties the game up at one apiece 16.06 in the first period at 19.59 of the first period as Garoff comes up with a save on Chisholm just before the buzzer it would have counted if it had found its way in at the end of the first period admirals out shooting the moose 10 to 7 1 1 hockey game 1 1 best of five series 2 16 into the second period and it's angelo off the box two minutes for holding his third minor penalty in just 22 minutes and 16 seconds of time on ice in this game. Salmonen does have to come up with a shorthanded save on Leonard. Then Salmonen also has to come up with a shorthanded save on Willsby. As, as a matter of fact, the PK was so good for the Milwaukee Admirals. They didn't give up any shots against, and they had two shots on goal and two good shots, two good scoring chances of their own. We go all the way to 819 of the second period, and Scarf comes up with a save on Gavanka at close range. 848, Scarf comes up with a save on Nick Niskanen, and plus his follow up rebound opportunity. 939, Scarf, another save on play, and then a 957. It is Malat breaking through with his first goal of the playoffs, giving the Manitoba Moose a 2 1 lead. It was a lot of jam, and there was a lot of heavy traffic. It's matter of fact there was so much traffic one of the moose players deposited himself into the net and that's how the puck somehow found its way across the goal line is when that was all happening not reviewable if this had been reviewable i think that this goal perhaps would have been overturned i don't think this was a clean goal it ends up being ruled a clean goal and we will move on with that uh, assessment and judgment because we are not the official crew for the game but in our opinion here in the bunker we felt if that had a potential to be reviewed that goal would have been taken off of the board because of everything that was going on inside of the net for the Milwaukee Admirals two to one in favor of the Moose back to the play-by-play 12 39 of the second period Salmon comes with the save on Leonard as the Admirals look to make a push here towards the end of the second period 15 minutes in Salmon comes up with the save on Gross 16 13 Salmon to save on Sherwood 17 
17, 16. Skarov back to work, coming with a save on Meyer. Heavy traffic and jam right in front of him, able to track that puck and hang on to it. 18, 53. Malott off to the box. Two minutes for roughing on Sanford in the offensive zone. A really, really bad penalty to take here towards the end of the second period. Unfortunately for the Milwaukee Admirals, uh, this power play looked a lot like the previous one, and by that I mean absolutely nothing happening. Uh, there was even a carryover into the third period, and nothing happened there. So I'm just going to go ahead and sum up the entire power play right here. Nothing. As a matter of fact, the shots on goal at the end of the second period, 16-16, the Admirals found themselves down 2-1, to one, and just honestly, not an inspiring period of hockey from the Milwaukee Admirals on their own home ice. They are capable of significantly better play than this we go to the clean sheet and we go back to five on five hockey at 108 uh the third period and that's when Salmon's coming up with a save on schneider 144 afanasiev and bonjivani are off the box two minutes each for roughing four on four scenario Salmon would have to come up with a save on jankowski during this special team situation at 6 10 of the third period it is gravel his first goal of the playoffs it comes after an intense scramble Kemmel is able to get the puck out of the scramble holds delays uses otherworldly patience for the age and experience that he has at this point in his career makes the pass across Gravel and Gravel also shows some great patience puts the long shot on net through the scrambling players through the traffic and it finds its way into the back of the net but again intense great work here by everybody involving this scramble the Manitoba Moose to the Milwaukee Admirals now to in the third period Period. 7.46 of the third period. Scarf comes with a save on Bon Giovanni. 8.13, a scarf, a save on Gavanke. In 10.05, a scarf, another save on Meyer. This time coming at close range. 11.11, Salmonen comes up with a save on Schneider. 15.45, a scarf comes up with a save on Olini. 16.17, a scarf, a save on Toninato. And we are just dealing with some intense, intense playoff hockey right here tied in the third period. We go to the final segment after the final TV timeout. 17.15 of the third period, a scarf comes with a save on Gavanke in close range again 18-10 as Garoff comes up with a save on Sautner man when I see the name Sautner it really makes me pause for just a second because it almost looks like my own name how cool would that be uh the rebound misses open net they cannot convert right here but 10 scary scary opportunity against the Admirals right here 1921 Gavanke hits the crossbar another near miss for the Manitoba Moose down the stretch of this game the Milwaukee Admirals quite on their heels as we hit the end of regulation as a matter of fact the Manitoba of a moose end up out shooting the Milwaukee Admirals for regulation 27 to 25 overall and we're definitely the better team in the third period even though the Admirals tied the game up we get a clean sheet after a full intermission and we hit the overtime session we're 208 into the OT and it's already longer than the previous game's overtime session and the Admirals have already got the puck out of their zone which is something they could not do in the previous game 208 into the overtime it's a scar off coming up with a save on Nikonen from the low circle but at 316 of the first overtime Gross would pick up a penalty two minutes for high sticking a scar off would come up with a save on Tony Nato, but Bon Giovanni would come up with a wrist shot from the left circle there was no traffic and no screen and it looked like a rather ordinary wrist shot but it beats a scar off and that's the game winner for the manitoba moose three to two is your final in overtime for the second game in a row manitoba ends up out shooting the milwaukee admirals 30 to 26 for the entire game four three shots on goal for manitoba in the overtime session one shot on goal for the Admirals in the overtime session. Skaroff gives up a weak goal in overtime, makes a mistake on the breakaway early in the game, and the Admirals find themselves down 2-1 to one in the series with their backs against the wall, needing now to force and win back-to-back -back games this Friday and Saturday night on home ice. Disappointing overall. We've got a lot to break down, a lot to talk about. We've got to get into the box score, the stats, some analysis, opinions, all of that coming up next right here on the Renegades of Puck podcast. That was the Reverse Sports Full Game Recap. <laughs> 